In this video, I want to share with you what I wish I knew when I started affiliate marketing. And this is something that I really wish somebody would have taken me aside and really like drilled into my head. And, you know, as I look back over the past 10 years, which is when I got started, uh, over the past 10 years, I, I can really see that I've wasted most of those 10 years because of this. And I really want to help you avoid that. I want to help you get results faster than I got results. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about it right here. Hey, it's Daniel P. Robertson. And on this channel, we talk about how to grow your audience, increase your influence, and get life-changing results with affiliate marketing. And I see so many people who don't get results with affiliate marketing because of what we're going to talk about here today in this video. And it's about this, this thing that I wish I would have learned when I started and that I, I also see other people uh, doing and struggling with as well. Now, before I get into this one thing that really held me back, I want to cover three main areas of what you need to know when you're starting affiliate marketing to kind of prephrase this. So here's the first one of these three things is that affiliate marketing is, is really it's about building an audience, delivering value to that audience, and selling them things that will help them. That's all affiliate marketing really, really is. So you can build an audience. You do that by creating valuable content that, that is answering questions that they're asking, information that they're looking for. And then from there, building an email list and recommending products and services that'll help them where you can earn a commission. And so many people, it's so easy to overcomplicate this. It, we, we think it's more complicated than it really is. I know I did this. Uh, I know I made it more complicated than it really is. It really is as simple as that. Build an audience and, and sell stuff to them. Sell them what they want. Sell them what they need. Sell them what will help them. And the key word here is value because giving value to your audience is what allows you to earn their trust. And it's because of trust that they buy from you. Without trust, without respect, without that connection, it's going to be very hard to get someone to buy something from you. Okay, so now here's the second thing that you need to learn when starting with affiliate marketing or you need to understand, which is that you don't have to be like an expert. You don't have to be the top expert. You don't have to have all the knowledge, all the information, all the, you know, the skills and everything. You don't have to be the top expert. What you, what you can do when you start out, start out with what you know already, because there's things that you know, experiences that you have, things that you've learned that, that you know that can help somebody else. Even if you're just a beginner, even if you're just starting out, you've learned some things already that can be of value to somebody who hasn't learned these things yet. And it doesn't matter what market you're in, whether, whatever market you're in, whatever niche you're in, you have some knowledge that can be helpful to someone else who is just starting out. Maybe you're just one or two or three steps ahead of them, but you can take that information and share it. And that, that can be the start for you building your audience. That can be the start of you producing content to help you help you build that audience and gain that trust and start making those sales. Okay, and so now the third thing that you need to know when getting started is you got to take imperfect action. This is something that again, I I did, I struggled with. I I didn't do correctly, and I see so many other people doing the same thing, which is feeling like you have to have your perfect plan laid out before you start. You have to have all your ducks in a row before you start. You have to have everything, you know, figured out and you have to know all the answers. Uh, before you start, but you, you can't, it doesn't work that way. You can't become an expert without starting. The way to become an expert is by starting and then build up your expertise. So what I've done is I've started now a 120 day challenge here on YouTube to build my YouTube channel, to put content out on YouTube, to give value to an audience, to grow my audience, right? I've started this challenge and I wasn't ready when I started, I didn't feel like I had all the answers when I started. I didn't feel like, you know, I had like, like all, all the knowledge that I needed. And like, I was this top expert. I wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't comfortable with the camera. I didn't like, you know, speaking to a camera and trying to record information. I wasn't good at delivering content, uh, you know, in this format. 
to be honest, I was scared of the camera. I was scared that people wouldn't like me. I was scared that I'd put in this effort and I wouldn't get any results in return for it. That I, I'd start a YouTube channel, I'd make videos, I'd keep going, I'd keep pushing, and that nothing would happen, that it would, that it would not work. But I had to come to this point where I knew that I needed to do something different than what I did before. I knew that I needed to build a habit around, you know, producing content. The internet works on content and building an audience, it's based on content. Without content, you can't really build an audience. So I knew I had to start producing content. I knew I had to start delivering value. I knew I had to start putting myself out there and creating. And it's amazing, it's amazing because you can build a business just from what's in your mind, just what's in your head. You can take what's in your head, you can take it out and you put it into a form of content such as video or blog posts or a podcast or whatever it is. And then you can turn that into money by building an audience. It's amazing. And I knew, I knew that I had to start. I knew I had to do it. I knew I had to uh, take that step. And so really this leads into that thing that I wish I knew when I got started with affiliate marketing 10 years ago. I wish I would have known that I would have wasted 10 years of not taking action because of fear and self-doubt. I wish I would have realized that my fear and my self-doubt would have, you know, it would have, that it was going to keep me from succeeding because as a result of that fear and self-doubt, I didn't take consistent focused action over and over and over again until I got the result. That's what I wish I would have known 10 years ago that the importance of just getting started and doing it even if you're not ready and, and to keep going, I wish I would have understood that. I wish I would have understood that it's more, more about your mindset than any tactic or technique or anything else. And so here's what I want from you. I want you to understand that your mindset is going to determine your success. Your mindset will lead to your actions. Your actions, it's going to be either inaction, it's going to be actions that are based on fear and self-doubt, or it's going to be actions that are filled with faith and confidence of that you can achieve this, you can get the result, you can win, you can succeed if you take action, if you focus, if you learn and you grow and you invest in yourself and you keep, you keep working on it and you don't give up. That's the problem that I face and that so many people face. It's Stopping too soon, that's if, if you even get started in the first place. So many people don't even get started because of the fear. But then, when we do get started, we give up way too soon. So that's, that's what I want you to take away from this. Get started, start producing content, start building that audience, start figuring out how you can bring value into the world, into the marketplace. So now, if you want to learn how to become a super affiliate and make passive income online, check out the link down below this video. It's my top recommendation. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video.